My name is Mildred Howard, and we're in my studio in Berkeley, California. When I go back to thinking about the houses that I've been working on for more than 20 years now, I, I think about what's happening now in the San Francisco Bay Area. So what happens to a community or, to, or a city when all the color leaves? What would happen if all the artists had to leave because they cannot afford a one bedroom? I think that impacts all of us because one of the things that draws us to this, this area is the diversity. And one of the things that helps to inform my work is the diversity. I was born in San Francisco. Um, I grew up in Berkeley. And so I've seen all the changes go from one thing to another. 1924, which is a piece that's in the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, comes from a series of houses that I've been working on since the 90s. And when I did that piece, I decided to do smaller versions of places that I had lived in. What's interesting about that house is that it grows, it, it expands out. I made it so that it was on wheels, so it rolls out to expand when company comes, if I wanted to have a party. So I had all these fantasies, what would my house be like if I could really build it the way I want? I am constantly looking for materials. I. I go to antique shops, I go to flea markets, I go to recycling places, and I have been collecting these small bottles. They're amber-colored bottles. I love amber because of how the light hits it and casts these great shadows. And if that were a real house, you could imagine what the inside would look like with that soft sort of amber color. It could be really relaxing to see that. I guess what interests me about houses is that they hold so much information. Houses are vessels. They do hold dreams and they do hold memories. The concentration that I've been focusing on is on memory, on history, on place, on class. It's, it's about the everyday, everyday object, everyday people. And I always say, just because you don't see something, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. But hopefully there's something in that work that will trigger that person to see the world in a whole different way. And as a result of that, it may help the viewer to search a little bit more about the meanings of things and not just accept things the way they are.